All right, so here's the finalized uh, product of what a proper pre-wire is for a smart home. This house is set up with Cat 6 shielded, a little bit of Cat 5 for some IR triggers. We have RG6 for video and some Siamese for analog cameras. So, this is Alex, this is our lead tech for home entertainment. Went ahead and wired all these cables. This is our head end, that's what this is called. The head end is gonna have a 42 space rack, ventilated. There's a, a, a vent in this room. Um, AC, AC duct for uh, proper air circulation. Uh, keeps all our components nice and cool. And here's the blueprint for said home. This is, I think, about 7,000 square feet uh, living. And we have a total of nine audio zones with a total of six access points. Um, we're doing a 6x6 six six 4K Atlona video matrix, uh, 4K video matrix. And we're doing some outdoor stuff also. Some really nice outdoor speakers that's the pool area that's a palapa or gazebo or whatever you want to call it there's a tv outside corner loaded speakers and this is fred fred is uh one of the technicians here he's helping out alex doing all the wiring so this is kind of a unique house uh it's got a very very long huge layout it's I want to say a few hundred feet distance, maybe 150, maybe 200 feet from one end to the other. So I'll start with the master. Here's the master. We're doing a little uh, living living room area here. So there's going to be a couch in this corner. So we wired for, again, for the TV. We did uh, Cat 6 shielded, um, RG6, and a f uh, Cat 5 for a trigger, for IR trigger. Uh, in this house, we're using Control 4 to automate the home. So we're going to control the, the entire house with Control 4. That's one of our access points. And on this side, we have, again, Cat 6 shielded, RG6, and... Cat 5 for an IR trigger. So these two are going to be on the video matrix. These two are designed for the couple to enjoy. So this is the bed area. Above the bed, there's going to be a set of speakers. And in this room, the customer is undecided whether to go with speakers above the bed or in front. And same thing here. Above the TV, again, the TV area is right there. So above the TV or behind the TV. Now this isn't for surround sound, this is just for different positioning. So my installers, they ran the wire in a zigzag fashion. And you can see the, the wire runs out from this corner and they run the wire one way and they run it back this way and then they terminate it there. And that's just for this zone and audio. The same thing over here, they run the conduit or they run the, the line that way, do a little zigzag there and then they end it over here in case the customer decides to put it there, put the two speakers in the seating there, or in case they decide to put the two speakers there. The master shower, master bathroom, master closet, master shower has a speaker in the ceiling. Two speakers in the shower, just a bathroom area, and then two speakers in the closet. No panic room in this in this setup, but uh, if we did have a panic room, you know, we would wire maybe a hardwired network connection and a hardwired phone line. Um, this customer opted out. They, they are not doing a panic room. All right, so. Oh yeah, by the way, those two wires dangling there are Siamese, that's for cameras. If you notice, 
these are pretty big houses out here it's one gigantic house this is another we did that house actually also that was a pretty big project um, this house has uh, two cameras positioned on the soffit there on the two corners one's gonna face kind of this area here because there's an entry and exit point there and it's covering the windows with that camera this camera should be facing this side of the house covering their entire backyard all the fence line and then I've also got a wire there facing the backyard area here just to capture any movement or any anybody jumping the fence so there's also a camera here right in the corner facing this little entry exit area and then the bedrooms this will be kind of like a little mini living area for the kids there's again cat six shielded and coax right here and then these are the actual bedrooms bedroom one cat six shielded coax and you notice we wrap all the cables with cellophane tape so that they don't get damaged when contractors come in and do their insulation again cat six shielded and coax and then we got a drop there for an access point we'll go all the way to the head end again we leave plenty of slack here so that once we wire our head end we have plenty of room to pull the rack out in doesn't matter we can service it we're not tied up inside that little room we've had a lot of uh, a lot of companies or competition or people who you know just randomly think they can do what we do um, we've had them wire up houses and they leave like a foot of slack from the wall and that's impossible to hardwire here's some more there's another room again cat six shielded and coax and here's a little punch out for some coax wire a rg6 and a cat5 this punch out is for the front gate what's up fred you want to say something oh no <laughs> So here's a little living room area. Again, Cat 6 shielded, Cat 5, and a coax. This is going to be on the video matrix. And then we've got two speakers front and back, not in surround sound, just in stereo. So two back here and then two in front. This is a foyer. This is the little water area. They're going to have a nice little water garden slash indoor water area. Um, Again, the entrance here, if you notice right there, we got a little access point. That's going to be for our internet. And these are the two giant dining and formal living areas. So we have four speakers in this setup here one, two, three, four. And these are all wired into the head end. And then we've got. Again, this is for the formal dining area. Yeah. One, two, three, four. It's hard to see them right there on the four corners. All right. Let's go into the kitchen. So the kitchen has nothing crazy. We just, we didn't do no TVs or anything here, but we have two. In ceiling speakers, those are little zigzags are for us. We have Cat 6 shielded connection here for a tablet. We're gonna put a little on wall tablet here. Um, it's gonna have your um, uh, control system for a control four. Um, we've got two Siamese cables up here for the exit and 
And then in this room we have Cat6 shielded with Cat5 and coax. Two rear and then two front speakers. Again, not surround sound, just stereo. This is an interesting little area here. We did a, this is the kids study. So in this room, the customer wanted some hardwired network connections. And the decision was made here to hardwire everything into a network switch and then from the network switch feed into all the little network connections. So the decision was here. Let's run one wire from the head end all the way over here. And then here we're gonna do a little junction box or um, you know, just like a little enclosure for a 10 port switch. And then we're gonna connect that 10 port switch to the big switch in the rack. And then we're gonna hardwire all of the network connections here. We'll terminate the, the tips and put a little nice little uh, cover on them so the kids can get their desktop and connect straight on here. They can get their uh, trainer and connect it directly on there. That should be good. And we are not network guys. We're home automation guys. But this is a real simple setup. Um, not complicated whatsoever. There's two also in this room. The line that leads from the rack that feeds everything is right here again. And then there's two hardwired network connections there. There is an access point over here in this side of the house. It's actually right there. And that should feed this side of the house with wireless uh, network capability. And we go into the backyard. In the backyard we have the gazebo palapa slash outdoor living room area. So out here we ran a Cat 6 shielded and a Cat 5. And here we're gonna do we're gonna do a TV on the wall. Uh, the customer wants a little motorized enclosure for the the screen to to be hidden. So we're gonna have a E1 uh, uh, controller by Control 4 that has IR outputs um, and it'll do 12 volt trigger and do whatever we need so that we can connect it to the TV, trigger the TV to turn on, turn off. Uh, change inputs if we needed to, uh, smart function and all that good stuff. And then if we need to trigger the motor, motorized um, drawers or or whatever we're doing, because uh, the customer still hasn't made up his mind yet, um, we'll trigger that also. You'll notice we also did the speakers in the corner, like I showed you on the diagram, and then a wireless access point right there. Uh, we also did a camera on this corner. Camera right there. There's a little trench in here, so I don't want to walk all the way over there. Well, actually, I am because there's some more important stuff on this side. So, that's our DMARC. That is for DirecTV, Dish Network, uh, Spectrum, uh, so that they can come from their telephone pole whatever connection trench you know their little line down here and connect there so that's the main line for uh, internet or satellite or whatever um, we also have a camera up in here in the corner you see it right there this is gonna be an enclosed little area uh, customer claims are gonna there's gonna be a little nine foot this is not little so it's gonna be a nine foot fence um, here so this room really or this entry and exit point isn't priority um, this is just a restroom so there's no no one that's you know going to be able to come in here and then get into the house so around this brick area is going to be a little uh or a nine foot fence um this is a garage for the customers We've got a camera facing the garage. There's gonna be a nice little driveway. Curls in here, like that. You guys haven't finished yet, but there are Siamese cables for surveillance. Right there, it's gonna get punched out to the corner. 
and there's another Siamese cable over here on this soffit in that corner right there and then the main entrance of the house is right there so sorry right there uh, that's a camera for the main entrance of the house um, so the driveway again the house isn't finished but the driveway should be right there where that little entrance exit is and the cables that punched out through the wall are in that plastic bag now in that plastic bag is about 150 feet of again two rg6 lines four cameras one cat six shielded and one cat five uh, cat five is just as a backup in case we need it for whatever the cat six is probably the one that's going to get used or is going to be the one used um, and what we're doing to control the outside again is we're using control four we're going to use the we're going to use a door bird door station out at the front gate with a camera um, that's kind of an intercom system that also has a trigger for the actual gate so from the trigger on the door bird we can activate and deactivate the motors uh, to open and close the doors so away from home or at home you can control your your door bird um, and keep track of anybody coming in and out of the house so last thing I'm going to show you is again my buddy here Alex finishing up wrapping up all the wires everything's labeled everything's tucked away we're pretty much wrapped up here um, some small little changes that need to happen and finish but we should be a hundred and uh, that's it. I mean, this guy's a little spider monkey, man. This guy can work miracles. I love working with Alex. He's a cool dude. Ah, Chingao. Now you're proving, <laughs> you're proving to the world that you're a spider monkey, huh? <laughs> Beach Alex. <laughs> All right. Uh, if you haven't noticed, I am Hispanic. That's why I'm cussing in Spanish. But, uh, we are in South Texas, um, right in the border, right uh, next to a very big metropolis in Mexico called Reynosa. Um, this house, again, is it's massive. It's about that big. It's huge. It's going to have some beautiful architecture. Let's see if I can get a good view of the outside. Stop. Sorry if the video is all shaky, but the ground is all uneven. This should be a really nice project at the end. Uh, again, we work for Home Entertainment. Home Entertainment by Detronics in McAllen, Texas. There's our car right there in our little van. And... Uh, y'all have any questions I'd like I like helping people just let me know and we'll help you guys out look at that beautiful nice layout flat roof modern architecture really high-tech system um, we didn't go that crazy with this house customer again they were more focused on audio quality than than anything else but uh, we're taking care of their needs if y'all need from us just let me know. Here, Fred, grab the camera for me. Just record me saying goodbye. Is it facing you? Yeah, no, it's not facing me. Turn it around. So again, my name is Lupe. If you don't have any questions, you need anything, Alex is somewhere over there, and Fred's holding the camera. See y'all later. Thank you.